hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. It's a remembrance thing. It's a reminder to let us know what he did for us. Yeah. Uh, even then, that can be kind of subjective because the cross in itself is a murder weapon. What if he had died in modern times? Perhaps he rode the lightning or got lethal injection or well, then I guess it, gunned down like Tupac or well, something. Well, then I like guess that. it's going to either gonna be worshipping the gun, the electric chair. Or the table that you're strapped onto, or even the needle. You're not. You're not, you're not. You're not necessarily you know. worshiping it. You're just using it as symbolism to remind you of what he yeah. went through. And yeah. and if that, like, if it happened in modern day, and he did ride the lightning, or he did get lethal injection, then I guess we'd be worshiping. You know, coming yeah. to a hospital bed to pray, or you know, coming to a, a wooden electric chair to pray. I mean, I don't know how that would have turned out. Yeah. Well, but I mean, for yeah, for so. for the sake of of um, uh, lack of better terms, the cross is used as a as a reminder, not as a uh, you know a, a graven image or a worship uh, tool. Even it's just well, uh, a reminder. Yeah. Well, it's not as though he's even on the cross. Though I mean, that would be point as hell if he was resurrected and he was back on the cross, just hopping around <laughs> <laughs> like a pogo stick. Boing 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 boing. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey how's it going, guys? Oh, you're still on the cross? No, man. I, you know, I, I just decided to hop on this thing and ride around town. You know. <laughs> it's like, it's like, his apostle said, I won't believe it until I can stick my fingers in his side and throw his hands in his side. It's like, here, I'll go one up for you. I'm still on the fucking thing. Here, let's worship at the foot of the cross. I'll just stay on this thing for all eternity until I come back in the final days and I'll just hop around, doing, doing, doing. Hey, Peter, Paul, Simon, how's it going? <laughs> I'm good, Christ. How are you doing up there? Oh, you know me. I'm just hanging. You want to touch my liver? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's, it's absurd nonsense. It's a lot of what you read and interpret in the Bible, that, or I should say that's being interpreted by Christians from the Bible, is utterly absurd. Prime example. People, assume, people argue with Mormons because Mormons believe that we were cre- created in the physical image of God. Well, the Christians will argue, well, God's not physical. He's a spiritual being. Well, How come we're not floating spirits? They, exactly. <laughs> and they will they'll try to justify themselves by saying we were created in God's character. Well, the Bible contradicts that statement utterly. Man, the natural man is an enemy of God. So if God created man in his image of character, then God is a corrupt Man, Sick, twisted motherfucker! Man was not originally made as a natural enemy of God, though. God or God used to walk alongside Adam in the Garden of Eden as equals. Yeah. He, he was not an enemy. He was a friend. He was a father. He was a caretaker. And the thing that fucked us up was the vagina. Well, here, here you go. Here you go. She had to eat that. Yeah, she, yeah, she did. But here, here, here's the kicker on that. God is perfect, right? Mm-hmm. So thus, in proxy, because Adam sinned, regardless of who was responsible or why, he was imperfect, so he sinned. So thus, he could after, not have been wholly created in after him to God. Eve had bit the apple. Not before, after. Yeah. And that's what changed everything. Damn you, Adam! Going, why'd you have to let your dick do the job? It's like, oh, here we go! <laughs> that was... That was the turning point <laughs> for... For everything that happened since the Garden of Eden, the burning bush, and the sword, and all that shit. That was the turning point. Was what? Well, was, was on fire? Eve's. <laughs> <laughs> After she bit the apple. That was the burning bush. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was the burning bush. That's, that's how we so know. So, Eve was a redhead. I was just going to say, that's how we know Eve was a redhead. <laughs> there you go. Burning bush. <laughs> you know another thing that I find extremely laughable? The Trinity thing. The three in one notion. That is funny as hell because what does the what does Christ say about God? I am here to do the will of my Father. I'm not here to do my will, but the will of the Father that sent me. And he didn't say, I am God, I come down to fulfill my will. He said, I have come here to fulfill the will of my Father who sent me. In the Garden of Gethsemane, before he was captured by the soldiers, mm-hmm. he prayed to God. Hey, God. Let this cup pass from me. I don't want this to happen to me. But not my will, but your will be done. But see, that's that's where you're misunderstanding. 
the, the, the Trinity thing is not necessarily a, um, a three in one. It's three separate. Yes, it's, it's exactly. You, you, when, when Baptists baptize people, when, when my pastor baptized me a while back, he baptized me in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He didn't baptize me, oh, in the, the name of the Trinity. Yeah. He didn't say that. He said, he said, in the name of the Son, the name of the Father, the name of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And, and the name of the Father, that's the caretaker, that's the lover, that's the guardian. The name of the Son, that's the sacrifice, the, the love that he sent for us. Uh, you know, to teach us, the, the teacher, the, you know, the um, counselor, and then the Holy Spirit, the good doing, the, the good comfort. morals, the comforter, yeah, the, that kind of thing. The equivocal conscience. Damn you, Cricket! Exactly. Exactly. You're, yeah. you're Jiminy Cricket, for lack of better terms, yeah. for you, you yeah. know, people and, who don't And, you understand. know, you've got the right way of thinking about it, but a lot of Christians don't have the right way of thinking. They think that God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are all... One being, and that you can't, you can't say well. that they don't have the right way of thinking because everybody believes differently, and because one religion is not <coughs> right, doesn't make another religion right. Okay, well, if God, if God and Jesus were in fact the same thing, when Christ was on the cross and He said, "God, why hast thou forsaken me?" If He were in fact God, I forsake myself. All, it, it, all jokes question, aside, question. no, that. that I'm, I'm not joking here. Um, would that be considered blasphemy? If he forsakes himself, well, what, what would that constitute? If, if God and Jesus were one and the same, and he said that my God has forsaken me, if they were both one... See, I think I think you're. What, what would that constitute? But see, this is this is. I'm going to rebut that, that with an, I'm going to rebut that with another a statement here. Okay. It sure. doesn't it doesn't necessarily constitute anything. I mean, your way of thinking is just different from other Christians' way of thinking, uh, or rather, other Mormonism or Mormons' way of thinking. Um, well, even a lot of Mormons. My don't, son. Don't agree with me. My son is me. My son is me, and I really <laughs> think that he's got my blood running through his veins. He looks exactly like me. You know, I could put him on camera right now, and there'd be no <coughs> doubt in anybody's mind that this kid is mine. Okay, he's chubby like me. He's got my smile. He's got my face. Kid's got my skin tone. Uh, he's got my color hair, my color eyes, my bushy eyebrows, which you can't see because I got my glasses on. You know, he's got my attitude, my short fuse. You know what I'm saying? So, um, in in a sense, my son is me. Yeah, I, you know what I, I mean. You know I what mean? He's got my blood running through him, and that's why. That's why I think a lot of people get get that that statement twisted. Is that that uh, Jesus is God? Well, no, Jesus isn't God. He's Jesus just has God. God's blood running through his veins. Yeah, he is the Son of God. And right. He, and a lot of Christianity does need to make that dis distinction.